So we've spent a lot of time connecting DNA structure, DNA polymorphisms, and the methods that are used to discover and study them. However, we really need to take a moment and talk about why. Why one would go to the trouble. And again, we're going to come back to this topic, but please consider this a preview. So imagine that you have a chromosome and that a gene exists on this chromosome. We'll call it D because that gene is related to a genetic disease. And you're studying this disease and you know that the disease is genetic because it's obviously passed from parents to offspring, but you don't know which gene causes it. And you want to find which gene causes it because that might give you some insight into the molecular basis of the disease and possible preventions or treatments. So to find this gene, you take a SNP microarray and you use that SNP microarray to genotype a bunch of people that have the disease and a bunch of people that don't. And the SNP microarray looks at loci all over the genome. But some of these loci, in some of these loci, a person's genotype is correlated with whether they have the disease, and in some of these loci, the person's genotype is not correlated. And so, let's say that you find a locus right here where all of the people who have the disease have a C, and all of the people who don't have the disease have a T. And you know, because you're using an, inex an inexpensive SNP microarray, that there are many more polymorphisms in the genome than you can measure, right? One of these microarrays, you know, an inexpensive one is like 50,000 SNPs, but you know that there are more on the order of 10 million single nucleotide variations, and that doesn't account for structural variations and copy number variations and tandem duplicates and all of those kinds of things. But if you find one of these polymorphisms where a person's genotype there is related to, correlated with, whether they have that disease or not, that signal, that linkage, tells you that the gene that causes that disease is somewhere in the area. It is close to that polymorphism. It is close to the DNA marker that you can measure. And now you can single out this part of the genome for additional study and go see if you can find the gene that is actually the cause of the disease. And this process finding polymorphisms that are linked to genetic diseases, and then using that information to find the actual disease gene, this process has been going on for decades now. And we're going to see a number of concrete examples of this as the semester continues.